How do you size duct work? How do you make sure that you have the right duct size for the equipment's tonnage? Return grill sizing. How do you make sure that you have the right return grill size for the right tonnage of equipment? When you offer a new proposal to a customer, you're going to change out some equipment. Something that I do is I measure the duct work, I count the vents, I check my CFM capacity of the equipment that I'm going to offer, and then also how many vents I have to make sure that I have enough vents for the capacity of the equipment. Today's video is all about duct sizing. We're also going to have an example of a job that I go to. I'm going to show you how I measure that duct and how I determine that I'm not going to use this size, but I'm going to use this size. This video is key to you being a good contractor, a good HVAC technician in the field, because one of the number one problems we have in this industry is airflow. There are so many jobs where I've went and installed new equipment and I have problems because the duct size is not the right size or there's not enough vents for that equipment that I installed. So we have to make modifications to the duct work so that it'll actually work properly, especially for a heat pump. You have a longevity if you have the right duct size. If you don't have the right duct size, your longevity of your equipment, the life is cut, it's shortened, it's in half, you have lots of issues, and we want to avoid all those issues. So today, I'm giving you some knowledge that I have about duct sizing. I'm gonna teach you the way that I duct size, and I'm gonna make sure that by the end of this video, when you go to a customer's house, you're going to be more confident. You're going to be able to offer them the right size unit. You're going to be able to offer them advice to help them save them money and make sure that they have a more efficient system. Before we start today's video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. This is going to make sure that my channel has the opportunity to see more people and more people have the opportunity to learn more because the greatest gift that you can be given today is knowledge because knowledge gets you more opportunity. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. First thing you need to know to be able to size duct work properly is the total quantity of air or the CFM per ton. That's how you're going to get your first duct size. I'm going to get my first duct size for this two-ton unit because I know that this two-ton unit is rated for this amount of air, this air quantity, this CFM. And I get that because I'm using 400 CFM per ton. You can use 350 to 450 CFM per ton, and that's going to make sure that you have good airflow. I'm using right in the middle of that 350 and 450. I'm using 400 CFM per ton, and that's what you can use as well. This is in residential uh, sizes for equipment here, from two ton to five ton. And out beside each one, I have the, the capacity, the total capacity or the CFM of that equipment. So take a moment, pause the video, stop it, write this down, memorize this, because this is what you're gonna use for your duculator to figure out the size of the duct work. I'm also going to be talking to you about what the perfect duct system looks like. Is it an extended plenum system? Is it a reduced plenum system? What kind of system are you going to design for your duct to make sure that you have the perfect velocity coming out of every single register, every supply register? We're also going to go over return grill sizes, which is right on the back of this board here. But right now, after we talk about the CFM, we're going to talk about the lines I expect to have, all those branch ducts. So, two ton, 800 CFM, two and a half ton, 1,000 CFM, three ton, 1,200, three and a half, 1,400, four ton, 1,600, and five ton, 2,000 CFM. Memorize this because you're going to take this with you to all your jobs from now on. This right here, beside this, is what I expect to have for lines. I expect when I have a two ton unit, I expect to have eight six inch lines because I know that one six inch line is about 100 CFM. And if we have eight six inch lines times 100, that means it's 800 CFM total. So I know that if I do over eight lines that are six inch, I know I'm going to have over my CFM or my air quantity. If I have under eight inch lines, if I have six, that means that I don't have enough for my two ton unit. So now you kind of understand that when I go to a house and I'm looking at all the vents and then I look at the tonnage, I'm going, uh-oh, 
oh, this two-ton unit you have, sir, only has four lines. And we need to add some duct if we're going to install a new piece of equipment, especially if it's heat pump. And I know that indoor coil is getting super hot and it's trying to reject heat during the heat mode. And we only have 400 CFM for this two-ton unit. My head pressure is going to be out of control. I'm not going to have enough airflow, and that's going to affect my system's efficiency. It's going to affect the capacity. So over here, two and a half ton, 10, three, 12, six inch lines, or we could do six, eight inch lines. We're going to look at our ductulator right after we look at return grill sizing, because I want you to know return grill sizing too before we continue. But this right here is three and a half ton, four ton, and five ton. Take a moment, pause the video, stop it. We're going to move on to return grill sizing, and then we're going to look at our ductulator. If you like this information, if you want more of this information and you want to learn more about duct sizing, the full video and full access to the video is easily gained. Just click that join button, become a member because this is a members only video. I'm doing this for my members because it's specific to their needs and they are supporting me and that's why I'm doing this video. So if you want the rest, click that join button. It's a great video. It's great for you to have more confidence as an HVAC technician, as an HVAC contractor in the field. This information can set you apart and give you an advantage over all of your competitors because this information is something I think that is, well, it's neglected, it's not out there, and it needs to be out there. There needs to be more education and training, but unfortunately, there is a limited amount. So thank you so much for watching so far. Hope you hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell, ding, join. I'll give you my email. I've got information I can send you like an airflow design guide. So that's something that as a member, you get access to. Also, if you become a level four member, that's a call me anytime access. So you can have my phone number, my contact, and I can give you tech support in the field. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.